And we're finally back. I'm in my new home, and Mir has returned from his vacation. How was it, by the way? Oh, it was fun. I uh, traveled uh, all over the UK to go watch Tank Go Vroom. And That's awesome, crazy. man. That's great. So first off, guys, as you can see, I'm basically inside of a Street Fighter training room right now. So I apologize for any echoes or reverbs you might hear from my microphone, but it is what it is. I couldn't wait to get everything set up and start making videos again. So let's just do it. Uh, I want to talk about the characters now, Amir. Let's talk about all the characters that have been revealed for Street Fighter 6 so far. And of course, we need to start off with uh, Ryu. Our boy. <laughs> yes, our with. boy. So what do you think of the new Ryu so far? How do you think he, he looks like? Has he, has he looked like he's aged? He's more wise now? I have to say that I do really like the beard. I just really like how beards enhance every character. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it seems like that. But the Hobo Ryu or the Hot Ryu from Street Fighter V, they just took it to the next level. No, overall, I think they, they have a really nice design going on. The fact that he has that sash that is uh, very reminiscent of Gouken, you know, like, to yeah. signify the fact that he's learned and now he's kind of like the master of his own style. Perfect. I, I really, perfect I really enjoy that. I think it's cool. Yeah, and the storyline says he's still like traveling the world, fighting strong opponents, right? And on top of that, it also said he conquered the Satsui no Hado. So what do you think about that? No evil Ryu? That's interesting because they it, it's always something that they go back to. In Street Fighter 4, there was the story of Goken and Akuma basically fighting over Ryu. And I think canonically, Goken manages to seal the Satsui no Hado in a way. But then in Street Fighter V, we still see him struggle a little bit with it. And eventually, I guess, that's the culmination of the story of the fact that he manages to defeat it and Nikali. But let's ignore that part. <laughs> <laughs> but gameplay-wise, like, do you think Capcom has the guts to not put an evil Ryu in Street Fighter VI? Like, that is easy DLC and such a popular character. Uh, I don't know. It's difficult to say because they're clearly going for a post Street Fighter 3 storyline. And in Street Fighter 3, as we know, Ryu is just the same kind, right? Like he has Denjin Adoken and uh, Shinshoryuken. Those are moves that are Gokens. I mean, obviously they retconned that in 4 because of, they invented Goken after. But yeah. the idea is that <laughs> that's him having surpassed the need to use the Satsui no Hado, right? Like no Metsu Adoken or Metsu Shoryuken. So uh, maybe they're just, I don't know, maybe they're just not going to have Evil Ryu. Even then, Evil Ryu was always kind of like a what-if character, so it could... It yeah, could but still, it's it's easy money, you know? And plus, people want, like, redemption uh, for Cage. I mean, Kage, my bad. <laughs> yeah, I was going to mention Kage. In, in a way, that's their in-lore justification of having him in Street Fighter V. It's yeah. like Ryu beat the Satsui no Hado, so the Satsui no Hado literally took form and was like, I'm going to skedaddle and go be my thing. You know? <laughs> well, there's always room for Violet and Ken. Always. Yeah, that's true. All right, let's talk about his, his move list compared to Street Fighter V. Because, damn, Ryu's got a lot of new tools. And a lot of his buttons look really juicy in this version. And, you know, it's kind of a, a meme mirror where we now... Everyone has doubt about Ryu being strong in every Street Fighter because of 4 and 5. Yeah. Like, he'll be usable in the first season, and then you'll never see him again for the rest of the game's lifespan. <laughs> Hopefully not. I always felt like Ryu, even though he's really basic, could potentially be very interesting. And in Street Fighter VI, he obviously has so much more going on, like you were saying. So just like in the lore, he's basically a master now and not a student. So that reflects that in his gameplay, where he's got two new moves. So we see this one move where he can charge up, and it empowers his next... Uh, palm strike or his fireball and he basically gets like a dungeon fireball and uh, much more like hit stun palm strike and then the palm strike itself is his new special move as well what do you think of those two moves i like the idea because dungeon is his identity post satsui no hado yeah. again taking it from goken and um it it is reminiscent of his v trigger one in street fighter five Except that it's more like a V skill in a way rather than the V trigger. I like it because it empowers one single move. It complements the the way Shoto's new, normally play neutral, right? So like if you're throwing a lot of fireballs, maybe you get the chance to uh, sneak that in and possibly make your next move stronger. The Yashogeki, the palm strike, yeah, seems like it has a lot of different utility, both for block strings and in general for. Uh, pressure because as i understand the heavier version can be possum block 
-hmm. So it's the kind of thing where if you're sleeping at the wheel, you're not ready to parry it, for example. Uh, Ryu can continue the pressure. So that gives some unique new moves that Ryu can use in ways that he normally couldn't, right? Like normally it was just like fishing for crushing me and kick fireball, but that was kind of it. Yeah. Offensively, yeah, Shogeki gives you something, you know, that, that you can use to continue your offense or even on block. I think it's cool too because now that we have parry in the game, you know, Ryu's not going to be able to just chuck plasma from full screen. But if the opponent wants to just chill there, it allow Ryu at least has something to do. He can get a charge, you know. It's kind of like Sagat in a way, too, where he can just use Angry Scar to empower his next move. And like you said, with mm -hmm. the palm being plus, you know, you don't want Ryu to gain these charges uh, for free. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. In general, it seems like his kit... Uh, I guess it's worth mentioning that he does have the donkey kick, or not quite the donkey kick. I think they call it the high blade kick now. I think it was high blade but kick, yeah. That is something that Ryu actually was missing for a big part of Street Fighter V, right? So, yeah, they just gave it to uh, him. Yeah, he's just going to start with this in Street Fighter VI and these other two moves. So I feel like he's, he's very complete now. Oh, he really is. Like, that that donkey kick, the new high blade kick, It's he moves so far and fast with it. You know, it almost looks like an Unga move, but of course it's not like, you know, safe on block. But it yeah, looks yeah. really good, just like for straight up whiff punishing, or you know if you land a hit and you convert into it, it's going to hit. You know, you don't have to worry about it not reaching. I like guess Street yeah. Fighter Five was really annoying. The donkey kick would whiff sometimes if you, you know, buffer into it or you hit someone a detached hitbox, you know what I mean? And it's obviously one of the main combo extenders with the Overdrive version, kind of like how the X version was uh, in previous games, right? Yeah, and, right. Uh, that's something that you didn't necessarily have all the time right so having this from the get-go is 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 pretty cool his fireball seem really fast too i think that's just something in general with street fighter 6 where uh, they have a lot of difference in speed between the fireballs to make them more difficult to parry on reaction yeah that's gonna make his like mid-range game really good and another thing too is that now that the super meter is detached from overdrives right or his ex moves he's gonna be able to dish out like a lot of damage because he can convert into you know an od donkey kick or high blade kick and go uppercut into you know level three or level two have you seen any good footage using his level two i haven't seen him really see a, a huge use for it because it says you can charge it which we know will probably like makes it unblockable or guard crushes right yeah 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 it, it does from from what i heard it does make it unblockable i understand you can parry it though oh. so it, that probably is an implementation mistake or not mistake but it's kind of like rough around the edges right yeah if you can just parry it what's the point because right. you probably could do it on reaction so right. I would assume that, you know, if they make the uh, unblockable version unparable, it makes much more sense than you'd have to either perfect parry it or figure out other ways of dealing with it, right? They're probably afraid of the fact that uh, it could be really dangerous on wake up, things like that. Yeah, but I, uh, I mean... At least it'll give it some extra utility, right? Because if we were saying the level two supers tend to be the ones that have some more utility and for reuse is just a hit. But the possibility to charge it and potentially turn it into something you can use for a set play. Mm -hmm. That could make it really interesting and unique for Ryu because he's normally not the character that has these kind of things. I mean, let's not forget too that his install special move where he powers up his next fireball and that it works on his supers too. So I guess that's an important point as well. Now, one of the biggest problems with Ryu in Street Fighter V is his mid-range game because his, his buttons are so poor. You know, he's basically relying on just crushing Ryu and kick alone. But if you look at the buttons for Street Fighter VI for Ryu... His buttons look really good. His standing medium kick, crouching medium kick, they seem to hit so far away now. Mm -hmm. And his movement seems pretty decent on top of the throw range being better for every character. So that could yeah. help him on the offense as well. Yeah. Because, uh, that was another thing in Street Fighter V that Ryu wasn't very good at. Basically, all the Shotos had below average throw range. And mm. then, you know, kind of like was a problem with Ryu's speed, which wasn't the fastest. Mm hmm. It's not like Akuma, right? It can just waltz up to you and throw you. <laughs> yeah, a million so times that, over. That would help a lot, I think. Let's talk about some of the new unique buttons, though, too, though. The first thing I want to talk about is the hop kick, man. Forward hard kick. Now, this is something that I've been complaining about personally, about Street Fighter V Ryu, that he needed so badly that I wanted him to have it for a V-Skill, too, was the hop kick. He needed something that uh, to deal with opponents where the crouching medium kick would fail, you know, basically. So he had another button to use. And now he has the hop kick. It looks like just something high profile, you know, that he can get in with. It's just another like good tool for him to have on top of everything already. 
Yeah, I think I think the idea is exactly that. It's something to dodge lows, and because of how Street Fighter Six works, you gonna get a punish counter on them right because you're gonna hit them recovery and then probably get a combo right maybe you stay in light kick or something mm -hmm. that could be uh the way that it's intended to be used or if you use it like more for keep out in the sense that you move towards your the opponent and you kind of like are guessing that they're gonna move towards you at yeah. the same time yeah like a dash or something you do that for a heavy kick and if they run into it maybe they get counter hit and then you get your combo Kind of like a gal soul button in a way. I, I forgot to mention Ryu standing light punch, how insane it is in this game. He, oh yeah, it's like Akuma's. Yeah, you stole Akuma's light punch and he stole his sandals apparently too. That's what everyone keeps yeah, saying. I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, his standing light punch, he's doing like triple light confirms into into heavy DP from so far away. I'm sure mm -hmm. all this is going to be tweaked though. It just kind of seems like everything works uh, with Ryu. Yeah, I was gonna so say, it seems like most characters have uh, three light hit confirm which is something that street fighter 5 moved towards right at the end it's one of the things that they did with the last patch that tried to give three hit three light hit confirms to a lot of characters that didn't have them yeah uh, so i wonder if it's just a new paradigm that they're trying to shift towards. yeah it's possible something in, something in between three fighter four where you could go from lights into mediums or heavies that was maybe a little bit too much that was one extreme and then you had early street fighter five where it was two lights and that's it like that was basically every character mm -hmm. now they're probably sitting somewhere in between that could be that could be interesting especially because uh as we were saying normals on the characters seem a little bit longer range so it makes sense that it would work that way mm -hmm. have you seen reuse uh back heavy punch yeah, it looks like his old uh, close heavy punch, right? From the games that had proximity normals. Oh, I guess so. I mean, I, that's why like we heard a lot of people mention like proximity normals possibly. But now we know mm -hmm. so far uh, there isn't any. But yeah, I mean, it's special cancelable. We see a lot like when the CPUs are like jacked up on the high difficulty. They usually do a lot of combo starters with the back heavy punch for Ryu. Yeah, it seems like that kind of button. It probably, if I were to guess has a little bit more range than crouching heavy punch but maybe mm -hmm. maybe it doesn't force stand or something like that right yeah. like they just have you know every every move has their unique use so it's yeah. probably better for cancels but it has some other limitation otherwise you know or maybe mm -hmm. it does more damage for example mm -hmm. uh, but yeah like it, it, it does seem like an interesting addition and it's there for a reason right obviously yeah obviously they wouldn't just give him this random back heavy punch for nothing, you know? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Especially when crouching heavy punch seems to have a similar use, right? So obviously mm -hmm. it does something unique. It's kind of funny too, because thinking back to Street Fighter V and the old alpha footage, Ryu had all these kind of like command normals. That was later data, data mined, by the way. They found out there was a lot of moves, normals that they actually took out from Street Fighter V. It's kind of funny now that we're seeing them kind of return in Street Fighter VI, so I guess they kind of found a use for them with this system. Maybe Street Fighter V we saw a much earlier version just because of how rushed the game is. Yeah. So maybe it won't be the case for Street Fighter VI. Yeah. But still, it's a possibility. I wouldn't exclude that. Another thing too, that the heavy punch. Uh, we know he still has his heavy punch, heavy kick target combo, but he's missing the the one that starts with medium punch now. It's just heavy punch, heavy kick now. And, uh, and the new one, the standing medium punch, oh. crouching heavy punch. We don't have too much footage on that one, but it, it's cool. It's, um, what was it? Standing medium punch, standing light kick, standing heavy kick? That's an odd one. I wonder what it's for. I I believe I saw some footage, Mir, uh, when they were recording the move list in English. And it says something along the lines like it's it's safer in the middle, like you can stop it midway through, kind of like Ibuki. Oh, kind of like uh, Ibuki, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think the, like someone could correct me in the comments if I'm wrong about that, but I don't think you can special cancel from it. But it's pretty cool. Like that's your new standing medium punch uh, target combo starter, though. I love seeing mm -hmm. the new target combos. I like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I uh, I was convinced that he was going to have more target combos, but it seems like uh, for him and Chun Li, they kind of like went with the uh, just a bunch of command normals instead. Um, he still has his overhead. It still does the two hits, and I don't know if it's faster or slower because it's hard it, when you're looking at the feels footage. faster. Like just looking at it. I know, it, but like every you have overhead to in this game looks hands really on it. You know, like I don't, I don't know. 
It it's does look faster, right? Just carry highs and lows, right? So yeah. the overhead they made them harder to react to. That's yeah, that's a good theory. I I wonder if he can combo after it if you overdrive from not overdrive, sorry, a drive rush from it. I just want it to be something rather than like a round closer. You know, I don't. I guess you know Ryu's can be. You can kind of play him a little versatile. You can he can be like a pure zoner. You can play him rush down. You know, so that'd really help the rush down style of Ryu. Where you can mm -hmm. switch gears, you know, I, I think that'd be well, sick. Well, especially if it is a faster overhead, that mm -hmm. might be just harder to deal with. Right. Uh, he's got his forward hard punch too, Mir. And uh, yeah. it doesn't look like you can link after it now. Now you can just straight up special cancel it. What do you think about that? Hmm. It seems like it's something that you use to fish for counter hits or punish counters. Because I do believe you can link after it. Even then, it because it is an advancing move it kind of has the same role that ford heavy kick would use but ex except this one is slower but cancelable right so it's a more rewarding version of that that you can use to maybe outspace a normal and then come back in with an attack and get a reward like that in street fighter 5 it was mostly just used for people to just dash a lot you know i, I always like throw it out when people just dash too much but for street fighter 6 you know one of the applications on how it could be used since you can special cancel it now is like if someone does drive impact you know someone's spamming that because then it breaks on the third hit so you can do forward hard punch into like uppercut or whatever Back to his special moves. I've seen a lot of people say his Tatsu looks weird because he spins in the other direction. <laughs> well, that's something that I noticed, but I also noticed it with other characters, is that they are going back to Street Fighter 2's animations a lot. And I think mm. they mentioned that in some interviews specifically. Did they? That they are trying to... Uh, remake Street Fighter 2, or at least that feel of Street Fighter 2. You can see it uh, with Guile uh, uh, as well, like his bazooka knee. It yeah. looks exactly like it does in Street Fighter 2. In fact, it looks <laughs> just as wonky, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> so but, uh, in a, to... in a, personally, in a good way, I, I like the I like the idea. And in Street Fighter 2, the Tatsu went the other way. That's why. That's yeah, why yeah. Like Some it. people mentioned that. But like, you're not going to appreciate that unless you played Street Fighter 2, you know? <laughs> yeah. If you're possible. somebody who's Maybe just like getting way... into Street Fighter, you're going to be like, this looks a little wonky, doesn't it? But it's all like nostalgic. Yeah, I was going to say, maybe it is just a way of uh, introducing people to older games in the series, because uh, especially if they make it very apparent that they're trying to do that. Maybe you will uh, let people know that these games exist, right? And there's going to be a lot of newcomers for Street Fighter 6 after all, so. True. Maybe it's part of their goal. Yeah, it probably is. I mean, I, Nakiyama, man, he's like such a, like, a Street Fighter fanatic. Like, he is injecting all this crazy, like, references between pictures of box art references in the game, you know? Like, Chun-Li with her wind pose, and then hidden uh, idol stances in the burnout state, and just so many things, like, quotes. There's Easter eggs everywhere with this game. There's so much love put in by Nakayama, one of the directors. It's really yeah, sick, yeah, man. Absolutely. I yeah, love it. Totally see it. I love that they, they have the time to put in that extra final touch to the game, you know? The fact that they're putting this in now is really nice that it's not just, you know, getting the empty shell out and then adding on top of that, you know? it's it's, it's Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's, it's having a finished product from the get-go. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's it's really exciting. So what do you think about his uh, back heavy kick now? I mean, it's basically the Street Fighter V version. I think, I don't know, man. His buttons just seem so good. It's like he has all these moves on top of that just for kicks now. I wonder if it's an anti-air, like actually an anti-air, because in Street Fighter V it kind of was an anti-air, but not really. <laughs> I wouldn't so maybe be surprised. time it will work that way. Dude, I wouldn't be surprised if you get a punish counter with it, that it just makes the character just fly up in the air. You know, he's going to have some weird, like, property to it or something. It's cross-up Tatsu back when you do it in the air. Is it? There's footage yeah, of that? Yeah, it is. It was conspicuously missing from Street Fighter V. Yes. And, uh... <laughs> It seems to be back. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it was complained about missing for forever. It's, it's crazy that Capcom literally just gave Ryu a new move out of nowhere that people have been complaining about, but on, but they never gave him the cross of Tatsu. They wanted that to be exclusive with, like, you know, Akuma and Ken for some reason. I don't know why. Because it, it does change your jump arc, and, yeah. and that's valuable in and of itself. I guess it's just attaching a hitbox to that property. Maybe they felt it was too good for Street Fighter V or something, even know. though, I mean... Obviously, probably wasn't. 
<laughs> it was probably Daigo's fault, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dude, if you look at... Street... Out of the corner. Seriously, look at any Daigo match in Street Fighter 4 for the first year, and he literally almost closes out every single match with cross-up Tatsu Super. Every single time. He always That's his closer. I'm sure they're, like, just kind of throwing these moves out there, and then they're going to tweak the balance of it later on when mm -hmm. we get there. I'm, very we'll have to see when this beta test finally comes out what what Ryu's going to be like, because some of these buttons look crazy. I mean, damn, dude, if you put Street Fighter Six Ryu in Street Fighter Five, he'd be destroying everyone. With just that light punch alone, he'd be giving <laughs> Luke a run for his money on his crouching three-framer. <laughs> What do you think uh, about Ryu's theme song that Capcom released? Oh, I actually been listening to it quite a bit. You like uh, it? Yeah, I have it on my Spotify. I, I think it's, it's funky. It's, yeah, it's, it's pretty fun. Like, it's not something that I would necessarily associate with Ryu. Yeah. But at the same time, it's a good piece of music. And uh, I mentioned it before. I think they will have all the classic themes as well. I find it really difficult that they're just going to yeah. ignore them, especially because they seem to have put quite some effort on this jukebox function. You know, like you can select the track before you go into a yeah, match. Yeah, we see at the bottom it'd of each be, stage. It'd be really strange if mm -hmm. the, the, the themes were in there, the classic themes. Something I should bring up, though, and like, you know, it's hard discussing about music because it's so subjective, you know? A lot of people are not con not concerned, but they're criticizing that a lot of the new character, all the char new character themes don't really have any of the original theme placed in it. You know, it's not like a remix. It's like a brand new theme altogether. And some people yeah. don't like that. Like, what do you, how do you feel about that? Like giving these characters brand new themes? Well, like I was saying, I think it's only because they will have the classic themes back. Mm. And that, that's my reasoning. Because otherwise, it probably would have been a remix instead, like mm -hmm. you were mentioning. But I think we should wrap this up, Mir. That's uh, all the Ryu talk. I mean, we're going to talk about Ryu again, man, when uh, the beta comes out or when we get more info. I'm going to try to get some guests in here. I want to get, like, AIM Kid or MDC Jimmy in here, and I want to know what their opinion of Ryu is, too. Oh, yeah, absolutely. That'd be very fun. Yeah, let us know in the comments below, guys. What do you think of Re the new Street Fighter Six Ryu? His new moveset. Are you guys excited how he looks now and how they changed him? Yeah, I just have one last comment myself. A lot of people were worried when they showed the teaser trailer for this game. They were like, oh my god, we use a box. No, <laughs> it, just, it just looks normal in game. <laughs> yeah, he just does just look game. normal, hey? That's okay. Those <laughs> memes will come back sometime. <laughs> All right, guys. I'll continue unpacking the Street Fighter train stage and hopefully get rid of this echo. I'll try to throw things in here so you guys will start seeing things start piling up. But it's good to be back, Mir. And uh, let us know if you guys have any uh, interesting discussion topics you would like us to talk about because even though these are I consider filler videos uh, you guys seem to really like them so we'll keep hammering these out until we get some more news updates for Street Fighter 6 so thanks for taking the time to watch the video guys appreciate it and take care bye bye